Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm James Schaefer filling in for Renee Summer Hour. We start with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. We are now seeing for the first time body camera footage from an arrest of a man who later died in police custody. Henderson Police said in a news release Wednesday that 53-year-old Ronald Winborn had pointed a knife at an officer and was subsequently hit with a taser during the March 21st arrest. The Clark County Coroner's Office saying that Winborn died March 27th from a clavicular fracture, hyperintensive cardiovascular disease, and liver disease. The coroner ruling his death a homicide. A man accused of attempting to stab and kidnap his wife and three children pleaded guilty in court Wednesday. 35-year-old Justin Carter was arrested in October after his wife called 911 due to the attempted stabbing. While on house arrest, Carter also allegedly attempted to hire a hitman off the internet. Authorities then reached out to Carter pretending to be a hitman and were able to identify him after he told the agent where to locate his wife. Carter is scheduled to appear for a sentencing hearing on June 28th. Clark County School District Police arrested a teacher on suspicion of animal cruelty and having a weapon on school property. 29-year-old Chantel Brown was arrested after police responded to a call about an animal left in a vehicle in a parking lot of Cheyenne High School. During investigation, police found a firearm in her vehicle. CCSD said Brown will be placed on leave. Governor Lombardo rejected a trio of firearm-related bills on Wednesday. The vetoed legislation includes a bill that would prohibit a person younger than 21 from possessing or purchasing a semi-automatic shotgun or a rifle, and a bill that would bar people from possessing a firearm within 100 feet of an election site. The governor also vetoed legislation that would bar a person convicted of committing or attempting to commit a hate crime in the past 10 years from possessing, purchasing, or owning a firearm. In his veto letter, Lombardo said, quote, I will not support legislation that infringes on the constitutional rights of Nevadans. And a section of Frank Sinatra Drive will be closed to traffic through May 25th between Arena Drive and Excalibur Way. The closure is for the demolition of the north half of the Tropicana Avenue Bridge. The Nevada National Guard takes to the skies to showcase two new helicopters that will bolster capabilities for disaster response missions. Review Journal's Jen Ah takes us up, up, and away. Flying above Red Rock Canyon Tuesday, you may be shocked to find these new Lakota helicopters go for $8 million a pop. But when you're fighting wildfires in mountainous terrain, that may be well worth it. It runs pretty smooth. It's got a uh, Fenestron uh, with giant, giant big fan in the back for counteracting the main rotor torque with flex beams that control um, blade pitch and vibration. Nevada is one of nine states to receive two from the U.S. Department of Defense to more effectively respond to wildfires, rescues, and disasters. They can suspend up to 8,000 pounds of cargo and perform air surveillance with an infrared camera. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, a unique graffiti house in Spring Valley is on the market for $995,000. The owner hired graffiti artist off of social media to tag his house. The home also features two full baths, a two-car garage, and a renovated kitchen and jacuzzi. The house is located at 5626 Deer Creek Falls Court, and the family hopes the eventual buyer doesn't come in and paint over all the artwork. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. After yesterday's scattered showers, we have a slight chance of rain for across the valley today. Lows in the 70s, highs getting up to around 90 degrees by noon. Looking ahead to the rest of your weekend, mostly sunny conditions, but a slight chance for thunderstorms and rain Friday night and Saturday night. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s, wind not really much playing a factor. Enjoy those sunny conditions while they are around and keep an eye out for those thunder showers this weekend. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders have announced four additions to the coaching staff for the team's 2023 mandatory minicamp and training camp as a part of the NFL's Bill Walsh Diversity Coaching Fellowship Program. Tory Gill on offense, Jamie Sharper and Troy Vincent Jr. on defense, and Matt Willis on special teams. The program is designed to increase the number of full-time NFL minority coaches 
and uses NFL offseason workout programs and mini camps to give those coaches opportunities to ultimately gain a full-time NFL coaching position. In your health news sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer in the U.S., but there are different treatments that can help. Most surgery is a technique used to treat skin cancers, especially in areas of the skin that are considered high risk or cosmetically sensitive. High risk areas include the face, scalp, ears and neck. With most surgery though, physicians remove skin surrounding a tumor without removing large amounts of healthy tissue. Then lab technicians evaluate the skin under a microscope. This way we can spare as much as possible healthy skin, but we also guarantee the highest cure rate. So there's less chance of that tumor ever coming back. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Game two of the NBA Western Conference Final is tonight, and the Denver Nuggets are five and a half point home favorites over the Los Angeles Lakers at the Westgate Super Bowl. The Lakers are plus 180 on the money line, and the total is 227 and a half. On the first half line, the Nuggets are three point favorites, and the total is 115 and a half. Denver, which owns a 1-0 lead in the series, following its 132-126 win Tuesday, is a minus 270 favorite to advance to the finals. The Lakers are plus 220 to win the series. An entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. A group of Las Vegas entertainers assembled for a photo shoot at Pearl at the Palms. Review Journal's John Katsimidis has the details. You never know who you'll meet in December in Las Vegas. That's pretty much true of any other month in our city. Mayor Carolyn Goodman, Mr. Las Vegas, Wayne Newton, Penn and Teller, Terry Fader, members of Blue Man Group, members of Cirque du Soleil's Ka, and eight championship NFR contestants all gathered at the Palms Pearl Concert Theater for a photo shoot and video clip promoting the December National Finals Rodeo at the Thomas and Mack Center. Look for this on nfrexperience.com because it is quite a moment. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm James Schaefer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 to 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.